and welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So the split screen effect is probably something you've seen in many videos where they have one video clip, then they split it right in the middle and they show the other clip right next to it. So it shows this split screen side by side comparison. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do this in OpenShot, not only with two videos, but more than two videos as well. And so this is going to be very simple, but also a little tricky at the beginning until you get used to it. And so the first thing you want to do is load up all your video clips and I have three clips right here. So what I've done is I've dragged all of these down to my timeline. And as of right now, the way it is stacked, you're only going to see one video because this one is on top. So if I preview it, this is the only video that you're going to see. So what we first want to do is make sure that you're always at the very beginning of your clip. So you could go here and just choose that it will be at the beginning because if you do it anywhere in the middle or later on, it's going to create a keyframe. And so we want this same split screen throughout this whole video clip. So the first thing you could do in terms of doing it the easy way is you could right click on your mouse, make sure you have the correct clip you want to adjust, select it, and then go to properties. And what you see here is all these different things. But the main thing we want to focus on is this location X variable. And so all you do here is you could drag it. You see? So now I have my split screen. And so that's the very quick and easy way. But the problem is my face is not in the frame. And how do you fix that? Well, you fix that by using the crop effect. So go here to effects and you see something called crop. And once again, if you want to do this for your entire video clip, make sure you go back to the beginning. So now I'm at the beginning. And let's go ahead and drop this crop effect here. So now we have our crop effect and you'll notice something right away. It cropped both the top and the bottom. And now there's a little C in here as well on this clip. And so the first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and go into this crop effect. And the bottom, just drag it down to zero. And the top, drag it down to zero. And now it fills up the whole top and bottom. But we still have a problem where my face isn't showing up in here. And this is where we have to go back to our main property with that location X property. So you click on the entire clip and we go back to this property right here and you can adjust it. Let's go ahead and move it to the right. And so you'll notice now we're blocking this part right here. But the main thing we want to do is we want to frame this. So you should actually do this first before you put the crop effect. But now my face is in here, but now I could actually adjust this crop. So let's go back to the C crop effect and this one will be the right size. If you do the left side, you see that it adjusts this. So what I really want to do is adjust the right side. So when you move it over to the right, it actually crops it. And you could eyeball it, but now we actually have our side by side split screen with me in the frame. And so if you can see there, the main steps are the first thing is go to your properties, you know, right click, go to properties. Then you adjust it to where you want your you know, frame to be, you know, whether it's a face or some object. And then you drop in the crop effect, as you can see right here. You then adjust the bottom size to zero, the top size to zero. And then you can adjust the right size accordingly or the left size, depending on which video you have. And now we have our split screen side by side video. So what if you actually want to do more than two videos? So you would apply the same principles, but since we do have multiple videos, it is a little bit tricky. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to adjust where my location is. So maybe I'll move it further to the left. So it's not as much with my face. Now I'm going to go to the second video and do the same thing. You know, I'm already in the properties. So I'm going to move this over to the left and now you can see the third video. All right, so that's where I want it to be. But now I also want to crop this third video or the second video. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the crop effect down here. Do the same thing I did before. Bottom size zero, top size zero. And then I'm going to crop the right size. So I'm going to go right here. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you could get a domain for an entire year for less than $10 Plus, get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So it's not exactly perfect, but you kind of see what I mean. 
and you could always play around with this and so I'm gonna do the same thing to the third video as well first I'm gonna adjust the location maybe I want it further right here and I really don't need to do any cropping here so let's go ahead and test this out and so there is a split screen of three different videos and you could get really creative with this you know you could make little boxes uh, like for example if I were to put the crop effect here right and then I could actually adjust how small or big the bottom is and what you can do here is you could actually put in multiple videos in small boxes so let me show you how that might look and I don't have a fourth clip but you kind of get the idea and then you would have to go back to your main properties and now instead of adjusting location X which is horizontal left and right you can adjust Y up and down and so then you can add one more video so let's go ahead and try that with it this existing video I'm gonna just uh, maybe duplicate this one just put it down here see if this works okay and so now I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna change the location or the view okay it's gonna look kind of weird but you get what I mean uh, now see right here I didn't start at the beginning so you're gonna see why this keyframe is so important so if I go back to the beginning see it's not gonna be there see it's kind of zooms in so yeah let me turn off the volume here okay so let's go ahead and go back to the beginning try that again you see now what if you actually wanted to reset things okay so the easiest way to do that is these are all keyframes so what you would need to do is go to the clip that you want to reset like for example this is negative 35 you right click and remove keyframe now you can adjust this by adjusting the numbers but I think it's just a lot easier for you to remove the keyframe and so it'll put it back to what it was before and if you wanted to remove this crop effect you make sure it's selected then right click on your mouse and remove effect and so now it's gone so that's the easiest way I think for you to reset everything you know um, and just go back to how things were obviously you could always uh, use the undo feature but that is how you would do split screen side by side effects within open shot and as I've just shown you you could do a lot of creative things and you could go from very simple or super complex and cool it is really up to you and so that is it for this particular video if you actually had any thoughts on this split screen effect or maybe any other tips or methods that you have in doing this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see my entire open shot tutorial series I will leave the playlist in the description as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet then check out my Goal content creators group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there and the best part of it is all of this is free simply head over to the link below check out my page and sign up for my Goal content creators group thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.